What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what is the best DAW on the market. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. If you don't know what a digital audio workstation is, here's the definition. But before we get into my opinion of what the best DAW on the market is, I got five different opinions about these digital audio workstations. So let's hear what they have to say before I give my two cents. Hello. Yo. What's good, brother? What up, man? I know you're about to go to work and shit, but I'm gonna I'm just need three um, three different things that you that you like love about um, machine because I know you've been using machine since like what? Uh, I want to say like 2012, 13. Damn. Man. Let's hear number one. Uh, number one for sure is the drums. I'm a big drum dude, so yep. I like I like being hands on with the drums. Uh huh. Yeah. So you feel like um, using uh, drum pads gets you better drums than if you were to like just draw them out? Yeah, drawing out. And I know a lot of people do them on the key on the keyboards. Mm hmm. I'm not, I got big ass hands and I can't really <laughs> When you sit it like on C1 and then C sharp, like being there, I can't really get right, right, right. that to really play it. Yeah, I got you. Cool. What's number two? Uh, The sampling. I do love, like the sampling. I feel like I've messed with a lot of different dolls and I feel like sampling is probably the easiest way for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the knob, like another thing is like the knob is like, it's super smooth. Yeah. And like, really want yeah, if you really want to like get to that certain spot, it's like it, it's it's really smooth. And then the last one, I probably would say the stock sounds in it. Man, if you just want to go from scratch, yep, th their stock sounds and their expansion packs mm -hmm. really really slept on. You can really just like go from do anything with it. They got different genres they do with it, so I do like they stock they stock stuff in there's really good. Yeah. and it works within different DAWs too. Mm -hmm. I feel a little, I mean, I feel a little biased with, with your answer too, just cause like I use machine for so long. But yeah, like the stock sounds in machine. People sleep bro, they really Yeah, like, like yeah. you if, if you've never really like used machine, then you don't really know. But like yeah. machine ha has like really, really like quality sounds. All right, All right brother, bro. take care. I'll see you soon, yeah. peace. Yeah, man. All right, bro. <laughs> Yo, what up, Ron? What's good, bro? I'm good, man. How are you? Hi. Well, I just wanted I wanted to call you to get uh, your top three reasons why why you like Reason. It's hard for me to say because I don't really know too many dogs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's, that was where I started. At. I started on Reason, and the reason I fuck with Reason so much is because it's very easy to understand systematically, at least for me. Like, okay. This is the machines you use for drums. This mm -hmm. is the machines you use for, you know, pads. This is the machines you use for whatever, you know, you're trying to use. And then, like I said, I don't know on other on other um, DAWs, but the way Reason is set up, it looks like a real rack. So, mm -hmm. using Reason, I can go to a real studio and be like, oh, I, that looks just like the shit on my computer. And I get it. It's a real actual compressor. That's, so, that's two. And then, I guess, maybe three. I feel like it, it's, it's, it's industry standard if you know how to manipulate it right. It's one of those dogs that has have been in the game for a while, mm -hmm. and they're still they're they keep on making upgrades. And so, if they're moving forward, and that means they must be doing something right, because right now I think that the two that most industry people are using is like Ableton Live. I mean, obviously Logic and Pro Tools and stuff like that, but different stuff. But I know for sure that reason is like it, it, it can give you the pop, the capability of being industry standard. Thank you, thank you so much, man, for like being part of the video, man. I appreciate it. Oh man, most definitely, bro. You got it. All right, brother. Take care. Right, Peace. Yep. What up, bro? Yo, what up, man? What's How good? are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm great, on brother. You on your way to Vegas? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I just wanted to ask, like, I've been asking it a bunch of different people, like, their top three favorite things about their DAW. And I know you're, like, a heavy Ableton user. Um, so I want to get your yeah. three things. Yeah, I mean, I, I f*** with Ableton just because, like, it's super accessible. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really easy to learn. Because, like, I, the first program I used was Pro Tools. Not to make beats, just to record. I started making beats on FL. So to me, Ableton is, like, Pro Tools and FL put together. I don't know. I just f*** with it, bro. It's, like, real easy. 
like once you got like waves and you got all the good plugins like your gucci like you could do hella good shit on ableton people underestimate it but i don't know there's just something about ableton like and then the fact that you could do live performance shit too that makes it even a plus because you can take your work on the road and shit well thank you man i appreciate your time i don't want to take up too much of your time because i know you guys are you guys are heading over here um but that should be more than enough for the video thanks bro yeah i'm gonna hit you <laughs> Hello. Hello. <clears throat> I'm going to skip the small talk. I'm going to need your uh, three things about Logic. In no particular order, um, I really like the pitch controls. For example, uh, pitch correction and pitch uh, shift. Because you can, for singers, you can tune their vocals exactly to the note it needs to be at. So uh, that way you're not off key at all or flat or sharp. I also like just the real stock mixing um plugins they have like the uh compressor and the eq for example is really good and uh the third one the sampling um it's not the greatest sample i've ever used but um just the fact that uh, it's 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 on there for a, a a program where you can record vocals and mix mm -hmm. um i think it's really good it's really easy to use and you can save all your banks uh, all your all your um, samples into different banks and reuse them later. I think that's really cool. You don't have to resample. You can just boop, drop it right in, ready to go. All right, cool. That should be enough. So how long how, how long have you been using um, FL? Fuck, I want to say like I think it was like two or three was the first one I ever used. So I just need three things about FL that you like that you really enjoy. I, I, dude, I was beating my brain about it for like ever last night. Like, yeah. what, what is it? What is it? But the three things that I would say is like the most is like the load up time. Mm -hmm. for FL Studio is okay. like instant. The, the reason why I say that is uh, you load like DAWs, like Logic, or you load like uh, Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you ever notice like you have to wait for the VST? So right, load you have to wait for everything to, to load up. Plug in to load. Mm -hmm. FL Studio, the moment you click that button, it's like instant. It's just like, even my MPC, like it takes like it, it takes like a century to load compared Damn. to like FL Studio. That's you know crazy. What I mean? The next uh, thing I, I really like the, the time stretching and pitching. I assume nowadays across DAWs you can do um, a lot of times you can just get a VST that'll do it that sounds really clean and nice. But the reason why I say FL Studio, uh, I, I live by their time stretching and their their uh, pitching is because you can pitch samples without changing tempo mm -hmm. and not getting you get minimal artifacts you get little sound distortion you get little you know change to your sound mm -hmm. your actual sound so it, it, it adds to the creativity a little bit more in my opinion and yeah. uh, it makes for a more fluid sampling process which i i am more sample based producer than right anything, you know? so you said three right uh -huh. yep uh, remote control uh there's a feature on fl studio <laughs> called remote control mm -hmm. um which I'm not sure if everyone in the world is familiar with, but it's 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 as simple as right clicking your mouse, mm -hmm. and uh, if you have a MIDI controller, you can literally turn your um, your MIDI controller into your mixing control. Board. Oh, like, dope! Like for instance, I have the Axiom 49. Yeah. If I have like nine tracks all rigged up, and I want the faders to link to like the eight fader tracks, I mean the faders that are on my Axiom keyboard. Mm -hmm. I just right click and go click uh, link to keyboard. I just start moving that fader, and it automatically links to the. Oh keyboard. shit! So your and your 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 MIDI turns into a mixer then. Basically, yeah. You Damn. can literally turn like every part of FL Studio. If it has a knob or a fader or a you know pan pot or mm -hmm. whatever, you just right click it and click link to keyboard, and you move a button on your keyboard and boom. Damn. It's like That's dope. And that's I live by on. I mean, if you're mm -hmm. not one of those type of people that like to use your mouse a lot, right. it's for that. You know what Damn, I mean? Damn, that's dope, dude. We got a link Definitely. up soon. Definitely. Cool. All right, brother. Talk Take care, soon, man. Bro. Peace. Peace. Thank you to all the homies that contributed their opinion. I appreciate your time and effort. Um, as you can see, there's a few overlapping things with each program. And um, the, really the point that I wanted to make with this video is that there is no superior DAW on the market. So to answer the question in the beginning, what's the best DAW? There is no best DAW. It really comes down to who's using it 
and how you use it. As long as you have a good idea and you know how to execute it, you can make that happen on any program as long as you know how to. Um, so my advice to younger producers, or not, not even necessarily younger producers, to newer producers, if you're trying to figure out what is the best DAW, there is none. You just have to pick one and learn it. There are so many tutorials on YouTube, so many forums on Google that you can search up. There's really no excuse to not knowing how to do something on your program. So if you have a question, Google it. If you have a question, YouTube it. There's really just no excuse to not learning a program. So I know some people are gonna be upset with my answer and saying that there is no best DAW, but that's just the truth. Like I've used almost every single DAW and it took me like four years to realize this. So pick a DAW and learn it. Stay curious, Google things, um, and you'll be on your way. Number one is definitely the time warping function on Ableton. It's To me, it's the easiest and um, I learned it the quickest on Ableton. Um, so yeah, the, I just enjoy the time warping function on Ableton. Number two is the ping pong delay. Ping pong delay is one of my favorite things on Ableton and ping pong delay is pretty much just a regular delay, but it goes from left to right or right to left, however you want it. Number three, is the coloring function, meaning like you can color each track in sections, making like workflow super easy and super uh, organized. Like you can color your intro, you can color your verse a certain way, or you can color your hook a certain way, making it super easy to read. And if you're in a session with another artist and you can switch things around really quickly because you know what each section is and um i have a bunch of other favorite things but i'm gonna keep this video short that's gonna conclude this video thank you guys so much for watching shout out to 9t7 for this comment if you guys have any suggestions or uh feedback on this video please leave it down in the comments below i reply to everybody unless it's spam and when i say that i really i really do reply to everybody thank you for paying attention please pay your producers and i'll see you guys in the next video coming from a personal preference perspective, if that makes any sense. That doesn't make any sense.